Hello friend, welcome back to our tutorial designing an impressive architectural building in AutoCAD 2018 metric. Go to the status bar and click the workspace switches and select my drafting and annotation metric workspace. Then if you have been following along, go and open the file 00 underscore 015 underscore BIABM where you save it. You can also download this file on the website or use your own file to follow along. If you don't have access to any file, just sit down and watch the video. In that tutorial, we set up our dimension. In this tutorial, let's go and look up the and look at the different dimension that AutoCAD have for us. But before you proceed, go to the quick access tool and click the save as icon. This will bring the save drawing as dialog box. If the file on the file of type section, change from AutoCAD 2018 if you plan to open this file in earlier version of AutoCAD and select that version. Click this down arrow. I'm going to select AutoCAD 2007. Rename this file to 00 underscore 016 underscore BIABM and click the save button. Go to the view control and Avoid the mouse cursor to custom model view. Follow the menu that appear and select ground floor plan. When you do, AutoCAD place you into a view named ground floor plan. You can tell in the view control. Now, some of the layer are some of the layer that was not available during the time we grade this view are disappear because of the way we set the view in the dialog box. To bring those layer back on. Go to the layer panel and click the Thor layer button. AutoCAD bring all the layer that's being eyed by this command. Select this line and hit the let on your keyboard. Now go to the annotate tab, dimension panel and select the linear dimension command. At the specified first extension line origin or select object prompt, let's use the select object option first. To select the object, just press enter on your keyboard. At the select object prompt, select any object in the drawing. Now click on this object and move down, click, zoom in into this area. AutoCAD dimension the object that you select. But as you can see, the dimension is in the wrong layer. We draw this dimension into the center layer. When you want your dimension to be in the dim layer or any layer that you set for the dimension, make that layer the current layer before you start the dimension command. With AutoCAD 2018, you can go to the quick access toolbar and change the dimension if you have checked this option on the quick access toolbar. In AutoCAD 2018, you can go and change the dimension, set the dim current dimension to the quick access toolbar if you check this layer option on the quick access toolbar. So if you are using AutoCAD 2018, click this down arrow and make sure that I set the dim layer as the current layer. But if you're using earlier version of AutoCAD, go to the Home tab, Dimension Panel, and change the layer to Dim Layer. Now the Dimension Layer is the current layer. So any object now you draw at this moment will go to the Dimension Layer. Now go to the Annotate tab, Dimension Panel, click the down arrow, select the Align Dimension command again. This time, instead of we use the Select Object option, at a specified first extension line origin or select object prompt, use the object snap and snap to the endpoint of this line. This line becomes the first extension line origin. At a specified second extension line origin, go and click on this line. AutoCAD draw the dimension. Now, at a specified dimension line location, or you can use if you move into this area, AutoCAD dimension the objects according to the coordinates of the original points that you pick you can dimension either vertical or horizontal you can also move on the status bar and select whatever option that you want to use now click when you use this method let's go to the home tab dimension panel and select the linear dimension command again at specifying first extension line prompt click the same extension line and click on this this area now move and click when you use this option AutoCAD dimension the coordinate of the dimension, not the actual length of the object. Now, if you want to dimension the actual length of the object, 
click the down arrow and select the align command at the specifying first action first extension line origin or select object prompt press enter now if you select this object and move out autocad dimension the actual length of the object to see the difference i'm going to select this line this dimension this dimension and it delete let this one remain now let's select the align dimension command again and press enter to select the object option click the same line now autocad dimension the coordinate of the of the line instead of the actual distance so this is the difference between the, the linear and the align dimension now let's erase all of this dimension you have another dimension which is called dimension when you select this this dimension is so intelligent that it takes on any object that you select now if i have my mouse cursor into this area autocad can dimension this line automatically if i have the mouse cursor let me turn off the object snap and have the mouse cursor into this area now move and select if you have the mouse cursor autocad give you the align dimension if you move into this direction now if i turn off the auto mode and move into this direction the dimension updates automatically if i turn on the auto mode you see i can only move into the orthogonal angle that's with the dimension command dimension the coordinate this is a powerful command you need to make use of click to place the dimension now I'll move the mouse cursor and select this area click on this area and move the mouse cursor and click press escape to get out of the command now select the dimension right click in the drawing area and select similar AutoCAD selects all the dimension on drawing, hit delete on your keyboard. Let's go and look at the dimension, the linear dimension command again. I'll specify first object prompt. Go to the status bar and turn on the or snap button and click on this. Click on this area, move the mouse cursor and at the specifying dimension line location, click on this area. AutoCAD end the dimension command. Now if I want to continue to dimension, I select this object again. Start from this point, this point, snap to this. This is a time consuming. There is an easy method to do this. Let me erase this dimension and hit delete on the keyboard. Now I'm going to select the linear dimension again. Click on this area and this area. Now move the mouse cursor and click. Go to the home tab, go to the annotate tab dimension panel and select the continuous dimension command. Also, can automatically start a dimension from the previous dimension that I use. At the specified second extension line origin, select undo, select prompt. I'm going to select AutoCAD continue to dimension as you pick points. This is a powerful way of dimensioning your object. Press escape. Now select the dimension, right click, select similar and hit delete on your keyboard. Let's go to the linear dimension command again. Now select this command and this command click into this area press enter to repeat the linear dimension select this endpoint and this endpoint move and click now let's go to the continuous dimension when you do autocad automatically continue the dimension from the last dimension that you draw but if this is not the, con the dimension that you want to continue use the select option move to the status bar and select the select option or type s on your keyboard and press enter now autocad asks you at the select continuous dimension prompt select this dimension be careful you need to select now if i select into this area autocad continue in this direction not this direction press escape go to the dimension panel and select the continuous dimension command again you see autocad start the dimension into this direction now if i use the select option and press enter so i need to select halfway i need to move more than halfway to the area that i want to extend while i'm trying to see let me zoom in this is a text let's assume see the text is at the center of these two lines if i want my continuous dimension to go this way i move into this direction and select here if i want the dimension to extend this way i'm going to click this dimension in this direction now i want my dimension to continue in this area select this area now move the mouse cursor pick on all the subsequent area that you want to dimension press enter to end the dimension command now select this dimension this dimension hit delete on the keyboard go to the linear dimension command again 
At specify first exchange line origin or select object prompt. Move the mouse cursor and use the endpoint object snap. Snap at this corner. At specify second extension line prompt. Snap at this corner. At specifying dimension line location prompt. Move the mouse cursor approximately to the end of this line and place the dimension. Now go to the whole, go to the annotate tab dimension panel and click the down arrow next to the continuous dimension. You see the baseline dimension. Now if I move zoom out and move my mouse cursor into this area and pick any point, AutoCAD continue the dimension start from the first point of this dimension. If I want the the continue the baseline dimension to move down, I need to move my mouse cursor into this direction and pick any object in this area. Now I'm going to move and click on this area. Then AutoCAD starts another dimension from the origin. Click, 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 and so on. Press escape to get out of the dimension command. You see, all these dimensions use this as a base point and continue to dimension this line. The space between this point and this point lies on the setting that you use in the during the dimension style setup. Now click this down arrow and select another dimension, the angular dimension. This allows you to dimension an angle of an object. At the select arc circle line or specify vertex prompt, move the mouse cursor and click on this line. At the specify second line prompt, click on this line. AutoCAD dimension this angle. Press enter to repeat the angular dimension. Zoom in into this area. Click on this line and this line. Move and to dimension this object. Now click the down arrow and select the arc length dimension. But the arc length dimension you can only use it in an arc length. You have the circle dimension, the diameter dimension. Now we don't have any arc or circle in our. I think we have one, the staircase. So let's use this command in this area so that you can see exactly what I'm trying to see. Now click the down arrow and select the radius dimension or click the down arrow and select the arc length dimension. What this is does, this dimension, the circumference or the length of the arc. At the select arc or polyline arc segment prompt, select this arc, move the mouse cursor and click. When you use the dimension, AutoCAD add an arc symbol before the dimension. Because we use the max, you don't see the line under the text because the max of the dimension cover this text. Go to the annotate tab, dimension panel, click this down arrow and select the radius command. Now AutoCAD asks you to select arc or circle. Let's select this arc and move the mouse cursor. AutoCAD place the radius of this arc. This arc is 500 millimeter radius. Click the down arrow again. This time select the diameter dimension. Now you can select an arc to know the diameter of the arc or a circle. Select this arc and move the mouse cursor and click the arc 1000 millimeter diameter. Select the diameter dimension again and di dimension this circle. Even though we place this circle just for reference sake, but we can make use of it to see exactly how the diameter dimension works. At the select arc or circle prompt, select this circle and move the mouse cursor. At the specifying dimension line location or M text, text align prompt, click to place the dimension. This, di this circle is 1500 millimeter diameter. Go to the home tab and select the ordinate dimension. What the ordinate dimension is does is that try to locate the coordinates of the, your drawing. At the specified feature location prompt, use the mouse cursor and click on this area. At the specified leader location endpoint or X datum, Y datum, M text, text align prompt, you can use this option to override the X datum or the Y datum or just move into the direction that you want. Now if I move the mouse cursor into this area and click, then this means the distance from the 0 to the y axis is 3000 from this point. Select the ordinate dimension again. At specifying location, click on this location. Now move into this direction and click. The distance from the x axis is 26231. Now select the dimension line, type, zoom in into this area, type 26, 26000. 231 comma 3000 press enter
move into this area and click press escape to get out of the command now the line go above this direction the reason being that this line this measurements is negative y axis but based on our setting the dimension doesn't play any negative sign in the area so if you want to get the actual measurements let's this line leave this line where it is for the moment and repeat the line command again go to the home tab drop panel and select line command zoom in into this area and enter the same figure but this time around this 3000 instead of plus 3000 let's use a negative 3000 at the specifying first point of the line prompt type 26,231 comma minus 3000 press enter AutoCAD start the line at the origin press escape to get out of the command Zo zoom out go to the annotate tab you have other dimension you need to learn in the feature but this time around i'm going to limit this tutorial in this dimension i'm going to create a tutorial which is focused on dimension and leader so if you want to continue on that tutorial look forward on my channel for a tutorial that focuses purely on the dimension now select the dimension right click select similar he delete on a keyboard select angular dimension the ordinates diameter right click select similar he delete select the arc length dimension and the radius dimension right click select similar he delete on your keyboard select this line and hit delete on your keyboard all right now that you have the basic principle how to use this dimension in the next tutorial we'll go and dimension our model now go to the view control custom view ground floor plan to zoom extent of this plan go to the quick access toolbar and click the save as icon and save this drawing save this drawing to 00 underscore 017 underscore diabm click the save button all right if you find this tutorial useful please click the like button and share it to your friend if you have any question or you want a specific tutorial please leave a comment below if you want to continue this tutorial or any other tutorial on my channel please subscribe thanks very much for watching i hope to see you in the next class goodbye